Hey everybody, it's Sean. I get asked all the time by people starting out on the guitar, what is the best pick for me to use when getting started on this great instrument? Well, in this video, I hope to answer that question for you. So when you walk into any music store, you'll see a display case with all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors of picks. Typically speaking, there's three different sizes. We have large triangular ones like so, regular sized picks or medium, and we have very small picks like this. So what should you use as a beginner? Well, that answer is easy. Stick with the standard regular size pick to get started. You can always come back to the others later after you have some experience with a regular guy. Okay, so we're gonna use regular size picks like these guys here, but you're at the display case in the music store and well, I mean, you can see on my table here just how varied these picks are. Some are thick, some are thin and bendy like that. Some are somewhere in the middle. Now picks are also made out of all sorts of different materials. Um, these ones right here are made of a nylon material, uh, whereas the rest, a type of celluloid plastic, uh, sometimes closely guarded secrets by the manufacturer. You'll also find occasionally picks made out of wood and some, even like this, made out of metal. I would stay clear of wood or um, the, the steel, the metal ones. Um, they're just not going to work very well for you in the beginning. You can try them later. But I would go for either like the nylon constructed uh, picks or made of the celluloid or whatever type of plastic that, they, that they're using. Now, I forgot to mention in the video that some guitar picks have very pointy tips like this one, whereas some are a little bit more rounded. You'll have to experiment with that yourself and decide what you prefer. Now, modern guitar picks are fairly inexpensive. Uh, so if you took a few dollars into a music store, you could walk out of there with a whole bunch to try out and kind of then you can decide what you prefer. They unfortunately, since they are made of plastic or nylon, they will wear out. Sometimes they'll break in half. They'll get lost. They'll go through the laundry. If you have a cat, they'll shoot it under the heaviest piece of furniture in your house and it'll be there for all time. Or worst case scenario, you lend it to a buddy to try and then he sticks it under his mouth like this. And it's like, yeah, it's cool, man. You keep that pick. So there you are. I hope that helps to demystify the humble guitar pick and help you get started on your road to playing guitar. Um, as I mentioned, buy a whole bunch, try them out, different materials, different thicknesses. Don't go too heavy in the beginning or too light and try to stick with just the regular shaped guitar pick for now. Anyway, I'm Sean Trotter. All the best in your guitar adventures. And uh, please like and comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover. And uh, until next time.